I've spent many and many hours practicing on the school pianos, and often it's not memorable. Today was no exception, just another ordinary pianing of the piano. Actually, it was less than ordinary. I was as bored as a pair of empty nesters. I had no purpose, no songs I wanted to play, and no creative ideas bubbling in my bubbler, just playing the same old songs till their joy was stripped away. In a desperate attempt to entertain myself, I started playing my chords to match the walking style and speed of the people who passed by. First came Stuart, a cool-looking bro-man, doing his signature high-stepping strut. I tried to match his swagger with some fancy chordings. And then came Grace, a lovely gal who's quite light on her feet. I tried to match her beauty. Then came Mr. Goldberg, the town's rabbi, here to pick up his son. I played the first thing that came to my head. I hope I didn't offend him. This continued on for a while. Most people would just walk by and maybe give a funny look if they realized. Then, all of a sudden, something amazing happened. A tall, brainy student with the look of Mother Mischief behind his monocle sauntered straight past me and turned around. I'd seen this bloke around the block, Isaac Lasco. He planted his right heel to the ground and grinned slowly as he tapped his toe three times. Tap, tap, tap. I responded with three low notes on the piano. He began picking up speed and I let the music match his feet. Suddenly he broke into full speed tap dancing and I returned to my Jewish jingle because I had reasonable suspicion that he had Jewish ancestry. His tap dancing was terrible. He probably had never tap danced before in his life. Despite the hilarity, the moment was electric and full of grace. After about a minute, a small crowd started to gather. Isaac bravely continued to dance. A drip of sweat trickled down Isaac's face as he stumbled like a baby learning to walk. A group of ignorant girls laughed hysterically. Ha! 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 They will never understand these things. Thinking Isaac was maybe embarrassed, I refrained from the refrain. But Isaac nodded to me and said, Let them laugh! That night, we danced until the sunrise, but our friendship lasted forever.